Hi. Uh, I'm out here behind the dump, and I found what looks like part of a human skull. They had it all, you know. What's up, dudes? Ah! Ah! The two kids, the two dogs, their new house. Bye now. Goodbye now. It was stolen from them. How does that family of four just disappear off the face of the earth? So it's three years, nine months. And that entire time, where were they? Up, uh, right here in the desert. They were murdered. They were buried in shallow graves. And who is sitting here in court today? Charles Mann. The man who, while claiming to be Joseph's best friend, was forging checks from Joseph's business and taking money from him, putting his hands in the cookie jar. Did I kill the mixed day family? Of course not. I've never seen him act violently. This is the strongest circumstantial evidence case I've ever seen. And if he didn't do it, he's the unluckiest guy in the world. And this picture here just absolutely looks like blood spatter. The idea that could be blood is a preposterous idea. The defense point the finger at Dan Cavanaugh and maybe others, right? Who are you talking about that you think could potentially be involved in this? Dan Cavanaugh. OK. When you look at the pile of evidence against people, there's some larger piles than others that just kept leading us back to Chase. I may deserve a lot of things. I don't deserve this. He had to control the narrative. I'd never, ever been in a trial that was this contentious. And it was very personal. That's a lie. You're already shown to be a liar. This prosecutor is a cheater and a liar. It's really just another red herring for the defense. These people were willing to do anything to prove that it was me. It was blow. I just can't imagine doing that to another human being. After blow. Let alone child. After blow to a child's skull. They manipulated this evidence to look impressive, unless you really looked. Well, I just think that once the whole story is told, both sides and the public can decide. Two Shallow Graves, three-night special event begins Sunday, May 22nd at 9 on ID.